Hi, my friends. This is Miss Alexander, and today we're going to learn about events and programs. You're going to be able to create events using input from the mouse or keyboard to describe how to use the mouse keyboard in our programs using mouse and keyboard. Let's go look at what we have. We're going to find out how to use the mouse and keyboard in these programs. My program can use input from the mouse, and my program can use input from the keyboard. Here, these are our targets. Mouse coordinates. The mouse has a position on the screen just like anything else. So here's this mouse and it have coordinates. Let's keep going. This is exciting. To find out where it is, we use the same coordinate system we just learned. The mouse's X and Y refer the very tip of the mouse pointer. See it on the screen right here? Right there. Right there. It's a lot of fun. Okay, you guys, button press. The two-part action of clicking a mouse or pushing a keyboard key. The mouse and keyboard also have buttons. We want to be able to know when the user presses one of those buttons. To do this, we'll be using new events, in other words, blocks, that tells us when something happens. So look at these, when press, when released. So there are two parts to a click or a keyboard press. When the key or button is first pressed down, that's called the press. When you let the button come back up again, that's called the release. Each of these things happens once during each click. It's useful to have these as separate events because we might want to do something different when the button goes down versus when the button comes back up. For instance, we might want Jitterbug to become invisible when the mouse is clicked, then go back to being visible when the, we release the button. Kind of like the picture there. Cool. Let's keep going. Button down is different than button pressed because instead of happening once when the button is first pressed, it happens every frame while the button is down. So this is the button hold, the times between a button's press and release. The mouse and key events that start with while happen over and over for every frame where the button is held down. In other words, it happens once in each frame between the button press event and the button release event. There's also a while up that happens in every frame that the button is not held down. Okay, you guys. This can be useful if you need to do something over and over while the button is no. down, like move a character. For instance, if I make Jitterbug go from my mouse position while the mouse button is down, I can click and drag him. Let's try out some of these new blocks. So, the mouse coordinates are in the black key and mouse category. These blocks can be used to tell us the position of the mouse cursor. So, see where we have mouse X and mouse Y? Let's go look at our code. So, right here, I'm going to click Jitterbug, and I'm going to grab every frame. So I'm going to go to code assist, code assist, go to timing, and we're going to do every blink seconds. If I need to pull out the one. And then we're going to go to text and grab three prints. One, two, three. Then I'm going to go to key and mouse, and I'm going to scroll all the way down to the bottom where it says mouse X and mouse Y. We're going to run the program and you're going to see where the mouse is. You ready? See how I move my mouse? It changes. It's kind of cool. It's a lot of fun to play with. Okay, you guys. Let's keep going. Now, the 
when button press blocks are in black key mouse category. These can be used to tell when a button has been pressed or released. Because there are when blocks, this will happen only once for each press. So let's go back to our code. So when mouse button is pressed, so right here where it says when mouse button is pressed, I'm going to grab one of these and I'm grab motion and we're going to face him. So face me. Here we go right here. Face me left. So we're going to change the right to left. Let's check it out. So every time I press the button, he faces. It only happens once. It's kind of cool. Let's create a new event. We'll go back and grab when mouse button is released. I'm grabbing the same one, but right here, I'm going to change it to released. And then we'll go back to motion, grab the face me, and we'll face them right. Let's try this one. So as long as I hold the button down, he stays left. If not, he bounces. That's kind of cool. Looks like he's kind of dancing. Let's go back to our slides and see what else we get to do. There's also corresponding when blocks, when block for keys. For the key block, you can select which key you want to use in the first drop down. When mouse press is on is black and key and mouse category. This block is similar to mouse pressed. Mouse pressed test if the mouse it was clicked anywhere. Mouse pressed on test if the mouse is clicked on on a specific sprite. So let's go back to our project. Oh, you need code says. So we're going to play replace when, oh, let's show you the code. When mouse pressed event. So I'm going to take this out and we're going to go back to key and mouse. And when mouse button is pressed on me, and we're going to face him left. Right here, we're going to run this event. We're going to click on Jitterbug. See that? That's kind of cool. He only turns when we're on him. Not anywhere else. That's kind of cool. Let's keep going and see what we have. The wild button down blocks are the black key and mouse category. These can be used if you want something to happen repeatedly while button is being held, such as motion. Just like the wind blocks, these blocks exist for both the mouse key, mouse button and keyboard keys. So we're going to go back to our code. We're going to create a new event while left arrow. So I'm going to go right over here, keyboard, and we want the while. We're going to change space to left arrow is down. We're going to move me. I bet we're moving us left by 50. And then we're going to do it again. So we're going to go back to key and mouse and go while, and this time we're going to say right arrow, you guys, and we're going to move me right 50. Okay, let's see how this works. We're going to play. So we have got it where if we click on him, he moves, and let's go watch. We can move him by our arrows, too. That's kind of cool. Let's keep going. This is a lot of fun, you guys. Remember, if we used press instead of hold, we would have to hit the key again every time we want to move instead of being able to hold it down.
So as we're doing this, remember, take your time, have fun, and remember to smile, giggle, and wiggle. I'll talk to you later. Bye.